Hello folks, welcome back to Case of Cut. So, um, yeah, let's continue. I need to quickly reacquaint myself with what I was doing, because I was last recording about a week ago, right? So, um, let's see. So we have the historic site here, we don't know much else. And I think what we're doing right now is going to San Francisco, by which I mean the Rust Wells. Um, so let's do that. So what what skills did we have? Harvestry, cooking, meal preparation, okay. Bows and rifles. Um, oh yeah, we have dual wielding, indeed. Yeah, that's going to be fun. What are we equipped with? We have the miner's helmet, so we are using two longswords. That's that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get all of longblade, I guess. And uh, this stuff. Where was uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. someone was saying that hey maybe it would be a good idea to also get acrobatics definitely for that. It's actually, you know, like getting spry is actually a much cheaper way of getting uh, all this stuff and you don't need a stance for it. But um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're going to be fine for now, I think. Um, and yeah, there's also tumble. Yeah. Let's just continue. I think we're going to be okay for now. I'm not doing anything, anything bad. A kind commenter, co comment that commenter, <laughs> a few videos ago, reminded me to take my time in tough battles, and uh, yeah, that's sort of a thing that I sometimes do, and uh, I need to. You're definitely right with that. You know, the game is turn-based, you have all the time in the world, you don't need to rush anything. And sometimes I rush stuff and uh, panic for some reason. That's, funnily enough, that's kind of a thing that I do way more when I'm recording. <laughs> it's not an excuse or anything, but just kind of a fact. Because, uh, I don't know, I when I'm recording videos I constantly feel like I need to keep things going. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get better at this, is what I'm saying. Because, yeah, I ha I've had a few deaths that I could have prevented if I just took my time and thought about what I was doing. So, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be a little more chill with everything. Oh, we got a musket, which is nice because, um, I mean, muskets aren't great, but I think we've already put points into bow and rifle, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we already have steady hands and draw bead, which is useless right now, but uh, yeah. So let's use the musket. Muskets are not great, but uh, whatever. Probably even would probably be actually better to keep using the keep using the thing borderlands revolver but uh, you know might as well start now all right how many let slugs do we have 26 yeah that's not a lot but that's fine you know once you find your first sort of um caravans in the wild, uh, you get a lot of net slugs from those, so... Ammo is only ever a problem at the very start, I found. Okay. Like, resource scarcity is not really a thing that this game does very much. You know? Like... Like only ever in this at the start, but later on you must be fine. Oh, this is about a mask called the Glazed Flower something. Oroxa Sherboon. Um I think we don't know where that is. Oh no! The location of Arkesh. 
Okay, and that's where we find the thing. So we have a complete quest here. That is nice. I'm going to... Once I've murdered all of these folks here, I, uh, I'm going to take a look at that. Painted on battle axe. I, uh, that's a really nice thing, you know? Usually you don't find all this stuff with one inscription, but uh, this time we did. Oh yeah, that's a boss. Hey, bossy. Let's take a look at you. Loved by snapjaws, hated by apes. Yep, good. You know, we can get some ape reputation. That's fine. And I don't care about snapjaws, so that doesn't matter. No worm skull. My neighbors are doing some weird stuff. I don't know if you hear that, but... Uh, yesterday, my neighbor was drilling in the wall. And it kind of sounded like it was directly in my face. Um, while singing. Loudly. And that was... Uh, that was very interesting. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny, but uh, yeah. Loudly and badly. Like, I don't mind that stuff. I'm not someone who needs quiet all the time. I uh, <laughs> uh, actually do not have a problem at all with people making noise, because that's what people do. But uh, that was that was pretty funny. I'm not going to imitate the singing because uh, you know I don't have a lot of dignity left. But I'm going to hold on to the bit that I have. Let's harvest some witchwood bark, and we are already at the rust wells, so I you know we can harvest some stuff around here. I'm already hungry, so let's make a campfire soon. Like now, maybe. And preserve our stuff. Oh, we had a bunch of stuff here. Good. Um, choose ingredients to cook with. So what do we have? Can't have it all. I think those provide a random effect. Ember was saying something about... Um, I think it was... Yeah, about... Uh, some good stuff for cooking. I need to reread the comments, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, there are some good recipes. Also, uh, something that Jeff mentioned is uh, that I did not... What I didn't know, actually, is you can take the tattered parchment from the corpse in the waterlocked tunnel and take it to the librarian at the Six Day Stilt, which is something I've never done really before. I've been to the to the stilt, like, a few times. I should do that more often, actually. And, you know, go to the other things, like the... Maybe the, the fire cave, the asphalt mines, I mean, and uh, other things. But, yeah, should change it up some more. I just cook with berries, why not? Come on. Keep the meal. First at half rate, okay. I think that's the star apple stuff. I think the star apple give you, gives you regeneration. And uh, the, the vine wafers let you thirst at half rate. I need to kind of get better at this. I should probably... Um, that's also the thing that I want to do a lot more, is sort of, I'm gonna make a note file where I note down stuff like that. You know, what the ingredients do and so on, and to learn that stuff. I'm actually, <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna try, I, I actually, yeah, one plan is to, I, I want to actually get a bit better at the game, so stuff like that. I constantly forget stuff like that because my brain just has not does not have room for stuff for that stuff. I don't Yeah, so I need to I need to note down a bunch of stuff. So I'll probably create a Google Doc or something. Or maybe a physical document, you know, like actual writing. My handwriting is not great, but uh I'm one of those people who, when I need to wrap my head around something, the best thing I can do is write it down by hand. 
So I actually do write a lot by hand. I carry around a notebook that I use frequently, for example. And with a notebook, I mean an actual notebook. Yes, let's harvest some dreadful tubers. So that's also something that Jeff said. Of course, you can harvest the the brown redwood tubers. Uh, the brown uh, dread, uh, redwood? Jesus Christ. Dreadroot thingies. Thingamabobs. And uh, you get the tubers out of it. Which you can use to make... Once you can actually, once you have the, the data disk and so on, for um, Christ in the hot tub talking. Um, once you have the data disk for the self injectors, you can make self injectors. You can tinker, create self injectors, and for that you need red root tubers. Oh, man, simple sentences, you know. Earth. Bollocks, I think my mind my minor helmet. Oh no, it was just cracked. I thought it it, it rusted, but uh, it didn't. Okay, that was just a cleave. Alright. Get the, let's get this thing over with. Ah, it's that, that again. We already found that. Oh yeah, I wanted to look where that was, which I didn't. Okay, once we get out of here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Oh, there's a slumberling here, apparently. And a star apple. A star apple and a slumberling. That's the name of my autobiography. Oh, amoebas. I hate amoebas. Alright. Kill the crab. Okay, spark ticks. Oh yeah, there is the slumberling. Hey, buddy. You stay there? You stay there. Good. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get into trouble with you, because I'm scared of you. So, you just sleep soundly. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. Hmm, oh, there, there it is. Oh, a salve injector, that's good. And another one, it's a love injector, okay. Not a fan of love injectors. Where did that spark tick come from? Oh. Just materialized. Probably not. I probably just looked somewhere else and didn't see it. And uh, you saw it on video and you were like, man, what is that guy thinking? It just does not look. And indeed I don't. Let me tell you, as someone who's recording videos, when you're watching videos, you notice way more stuff than when you are recording videos. Because, yeah, you're constantly thinking about what you're saying. And that is actually, that bit of multitasking does something to your perception of everything. Well, at least it, it is the case with me. I can collect that. Put it in here. Get some, that is some fresh water. Alright. Kill the hermit. Hermit carried one shotgun shell. And that's a Rasta Saiyan, which... Uh, yeah, they're doing a bit of damage, but uh, they're not hitting us very often, so... That's fine. I feel like a few years ago... Uh, I don't know if, there, if anything changed there, or if, the, if it's just a weird perception thing. But I feel like they were they were a lot more common at some point. The the Rasta Saiyans. I feel like yeah. Oh, it's a killipede. Jeez. Let's see. 
Like the killer bee. I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Alright. Jeez, okay, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's the rest of the wire. Okay, you fight each other for a bit. Good. I'm gonna rest. Oh no, there's a crab. Come on. Drop it. Dead. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna go back up. Cave spider, stop moving. Yeah, and let's murder the cave spider. And let's go up. Kudzu. Let's walk around that fucking kudzu, please. Okay. So, uh, where do we have... Oh, that's actually not that far away. So we have actually two artifacts that are pretty close. Close by, so... I think we're gonna do that before we get to Gridgate, actually. I mean, those are also sometimes very dangerous, but uh, I think I'm going to do uh, this southern one first, this one, and um, this afterwards, but uh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a nice change of pace. Recognize the fucking area, thank you. And you're lost again. Alright. Let's go to the oven. And, uh, well, let's eat this. Yeah. It's essentially, like, the apple mats is essentially the same as cooking with star apple and, uh... With star apple jam and vine wafers, so it's actually not that important. Oh, b -b -b what can you tell me? No, 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 no. Oh, f forget about it. Jeez. Brain, 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 brain. Let's go here and give him his stuff. That's what we're doing. Drop a recoiler. That's nice. I'd like to have that. Let's get this quest. We have the droid scrambler. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Good. We're gonna do this later. Right now. Right now. Alright. Okay, let's go. Whoop. Whoop. Let's go to you. Okay, this has not reset yet. So. Mm. Not all that useful. Do we have anything that we need to get rid of? We have a box of crayons. Masterwork, Iron Longsword. What did Masterwork do again? Critical, critical hits twice as often. I think I'm gonna stick with Counterweighted. We have a Credit Wedge, which is good. And uh, we have a Security Card, which is also good. So I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I'm gonna keep the Glow Sphere for now. I'm gonna keep that. Borderlands Revolver, because we're going to take it apart once we can. Um, we also have this scrap here, which... It's probably not worth it carrying that stuff around, is it? But yeah, we can carry a lot more stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Give me some more fresh water. So that we don't run out. And, uh, uh, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Alright. <clears throat> yep, let's go south. Oh, we harvested a vine wafer while walking by. That was probably a weird looking thing that we did there. There's never much reason to go south here, so that's <laughs> that's kind of cool. To go south of Joppa. I mean, there's not much that is interesting down here. It's just a lot of water vine marsh. But, you know... Usually, you know, I, I like going somewhere where we never go. So are we? Yes, so let's go there. Salt marsh. There is a croc. That gives us 7 XP at this point. <laughs> 
All right, okay, I think I'm gonna be finished here. Let's take a look at this guy. It is neutral, that's good. Oh, it's Baraphromite, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk with these, but we're gonna do that in the next video. So thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye-bye.